What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Louis and I, are, Louis is here at home in Florida, about to head down to Key West to go do some diving and some fun stuff, which you'll see in this video. Right when we were about to leave, I noticed that my palm tree had some beautiful coconuts on it. And I was like, those must have some really good water in them. And they do. Look at all this water. We, this was only like five or six coconuts. There's a lot of water you're about, I'm about to show you in one coconut, but it is an amazing, hydrating drink to have in the heat of the day out when you're out diving doing all kind of stuff so that's why i was like we got to bring some with us to key west show you how much water is in one i got one ready right here look at that it's probably gonna fill up the whole thing that was it oh that was it look all this water was in this coconut and this water is so good and nutritious for you it is like the best drink i have in my opinion in the world i do have some other videos from last summer of opening coconuts and doing coconut water and coconut milk i'll put them all in the description box below or i'll put a link for one of them up here in the corner but i love coconuts i love coconut water i wish there was more meat on these they don't really have a lot of meat on them yet they probably have to be a little bit more mature but the water is delicious when they're young and green like this. So we are gonna be well hydrated. And can we have one more? That's it. That's it? All right. of the day. If you can hear me, it's kind of windy. Lewis and I are in Key West with the one and only Key West photog, Hunter. And Hunter said the college is doing research on man of wars and we just happened to come across one out here in, in the ocean and we're gonna catch it. First catch of the day, <laughs> the man of war. Good work. So we're gonna make 20 bucks, huh? Yeah, make 20 bucks. Oh, Dang, that's like that's like hunting nutri rats. Oh, yeah. You do not put your hand in this live well. <laughs> for bait. You'll get a, a pretty no a pretty strong tingle if you put your hand in there. All right, so the slaying has begun. On my birthday trip here in Key West, what we're really here for is for the lionfish. The lionfish that uh, the weather. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, water feels warm. Yeah. The water is 80 degrees. I love that. We found our second creature of the day. All right. The second sea creature of the day. Oh, we got it. I think we. No, we don't want to keep him. No. Keep him in the oh, water. Oh, he's inking. It's inking. What is it? A Spanish dancer? Which is like a type of sea slug or like a sea a cucumber type of thing? Uh, no, I think it's a Latino, uh, Argentinian dance. <laughs> right. They, uh, like the emoji. The Come on, Jackie. Come on. Yep, yeah, hold your face.
Jack, did you slay some lionfish? Oh, yeah, nice. Heck yeah, you did. Yeah, on that dive. Well done, a couple of really huge ones. Lionfish ceviche. Oh, yeah. We have to let. So we have to let you know what we're doing now. We got out of the water. It was getting a little rough. The wind picked up. You probably can hear the wind and the audio. It's going to be great. We did finish off our dive trip with some really nice lionfish. I didn't get my shot of my last one on video, but I did get a little video of it kind of on the prong. And Hunter also, I got Hunter with his last lionfish. It was a nice, juicy, big one. Yeah. We got we got some nice ones. Yeah. Um, Guys, Jackie is a remarkably good diver and uh, uh, spear. Uh, we just had some really, really tough conditions. This cold front came in. Uh, it was not supposed to be nearly as powerful as it was, and we had some yes. uh, five footers out there. Yes. And uh, you know, judgment is the uh, most important thing you exercise in diving. That's true. And uh, the right judgment call was to go ahead and come on in for the day and yeah. uh, be happy with what we got. We're yeah. going to uh, get these fish cleaned up and make some ceviche. Yes, which we will bring you for that too. Where, where are the lionfish? They're in the front. They're in the front. Are you videoing so, me? Uh, uh, we're now we're now doing... Hunter's getting his vlog. Which Hunter <laughs> Hunter has a YouTube channel too. No so. one ever looked at Hunter's YouTube Check channel. Check out though. Hunter's you. YouTube channel if you you know you should because you should. These Yeah, let's take a look at the lionfish. So when you do this, guys, if you're yes. gonna have a zookeeper, uh, and that's what you put the lionfish in. What I like to do because is they're my... poisonous. If, if you're watching, you have no idea what lionfish are. They are venomous as heck. They you, will hurt you. Yeah, you do not want to get poked by a lion. So, uh, Zookeeper is a brand. Uh, they they do a great. They uh, they make a really great product. We just use our forward live well and put them in a five gallon bucket with a hard top, and that way you don't have you know if you get a small one, there's just no way you're going to get spined envenomated uh, and you got them in the nice five gallon bucket Ooh. and there's some nice lionfish ceviche look at this little guy this this one got out we did not have great oh this God, so i barely small. got this one between the the the, the tongs uh, it was a shot like this and and he was just kind of up in there like that so you're very confidently handling this little lionfish right now well there um, where are the spines that are... so there are 18 spines on lionfish you've got 13 on the back here okay you've got three anal fins back here all right okay and then you've got one each up here on the pectoral fins. On the peck there. Not the main, but up on the peck. There it is. Feeling around for it? Yeah. Uh, so, well, what? They, they can still envenomate you after they're dead. You don't want to go grabbing hard. Yeah, yeah. I've handled a lot of line fish. So, so this was funny. I don't know if we got on video, but I had <laughs> in there and I get him back in. And then Jackie's like pointing. I'm like, what? Yeah. He had swam out of the zookeeper. Yeah. He was just like right under my thigh. Yeah, he's right there. And I'm like, holy smoke. <laughs> so even this little guy right here, if he stuck you oh, yeah. with these, one of these, uh, it, it just that would, would be, be serious. Oh, don't Look at the okay. big carpet rolling on my bait right here. You kind of see the, the different sizes? Uh -huh. This is a probably a 14 inch fish. This is a nice lion it's fish. So they don't get super long but they will get really fat yeah and um get this one you want to hit them you try to shoot them closer to the head mm -hmm. and they'll pull back off these males you can see i don't know if jackie uh can show but they get these hard barbs on their face they're not venomous but you feel here mm. here um but you know the the best way to handle a lionfish is uh dead with the spines off we don't trim the spines uh we handle them with the spines on it's not a, a big deal but just you know be careful doing that and you can see on this one. My God. Now he got some of his broken off as we were handling him and, and, and putting him in the, in the zookeeper. But uh, back there. So the broken ones still have venom in them, or are you? Uh, probably not. It's the it's the tip to inject you that's broken off. I don't know if that could stick you, but these you can see they're just Ugh. literally hyper hypodermic sharp. Oh my God! And when that presses in, the uh, venom sac is back here and it just fills you right up. Oh. So. Those two that we were talking about underneath, they're not on the main. They're right there. Just that uh, one. Yeah, so see. you got your 13 and then the three 
Oof. One, two, three. Can you see those? Excellent. Right there, I guess you would call those the anal fins. Yeah. Uh, I got my finger on one, but there's... Oh, they're so pretty though. One, two, three. Check out this nice big one. We got another big one in here too. You can lift them both in one hand. See if you can do both in one yeah, hand. Yeah, that was the same fish. He's trying to trick you on there. <laughs> Hold them both in hand. I got 10 big fish right here. See, this is one. One, two. Is <laughs> look at those. Woo! Oh, wait, wait. I want to get that. Hunter you know? got a big one. I got a big one. And then look at We got a couple of little ones in there. But that's the whole point of what we're doing. Uh, they're in, an invasive species and we don't want them in the water. They're really bad actually for the environment down there. So um, you want to kill big ones, small ones. There's no limit. There's no size limit. You want to kill as many as possible. So that's why we have all different sizes in there. And we're here doing Bigger, Big or small, we kill them all. Yeah. But they are really fun to shoot and they're really, really good to eat. So that's the uh, other part of the video that we're going to show you is how beautiful the meat is, how to clean them and how to make a delicious ceviche, right? Absolutely. Woo. Look at all the lions there. That's what a venom sack looks like. That's the venom sack? Yeah, this is. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. Just playing. Oh, God. So when um, I'm recording. I, I do lionfish. I, I use a longer knife, uh, and, I'll, and I'll show you. I mean, there's a lot of things you can point. It's just it's a standard fillet. You come up at a, an angle. Now, here's something else you can do, and I forgot to, and I'll, I'll mention it. If you're cleaning them, um, oh, a bit, you see how that little dot that's coming Oh, off? yeah. All the little scales, the coloration yeah, is like, coming off. Uh, and it will be less messy on your fillet. You kind of want to do it against the grain. I don't want to oh. splash Jackie. Splash in the cameras. It's okay. Is that like kind of like descaling it? It doesn't really, he doesn't have scales, but they, they had this, the stuff falls off. Like skin? It just makes a mess. I don't oh, know what weird. they are. Can you see the little, you know, if you scrape against them? Yeah. Uh, this stuff, I don't know. They what are you, scales. Are, are they scales? Yeah, they're scales. Okay. Jackie says they're scales. I, I think they look scalish. I'm just going to come in and you just come along the spine, but I like the longer knife. I can stay back. Away from the fish's spines. Beautiful. And you just flop it over. Wow. It's super, super skinny. The 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 uh, skin is real thin, so just come completely flat. Do you ever leave the skin on, like like you uh, do with I, I haven't, but uh, I think we're gonna uh, our next video, maybe next time you do this. Yeah. I want to deep fry one. Whole. Yeah, score it and deep fry it whole and batter and make it and have this crazy oh. presentation, huh? That would be like pretty awesome. Gourmet restaurant Stuff. dish right there. That's pretty much what I'm thinking. Right. We just wow, did. look how pretty, look how pretty that and look, is. The, oh, the snappers already got it, they love them. And oh. same for the thing, you can trim a little bit of, here watch oh, the snappers wow. go crazy. That is beautiful. You notice, no bloodline. Yeah. Uh, and so that's what is part of it, but there is some little pin bones, if that's the right word for them. And same sort of thing, you kind of want to cut on what would be their bloodline and get those can't really see them, Jackie. Maybe uh, one or two. I can see them a little you bit. You can see them a little bit. Yeah. You could probably crunch through them if that's what you wanted to do. But Good I like calcium. To cut them out. Might get a little bit in your tooth. Yep. I brought a bowl down here. If you choose to leave the spines on, just be cognizant of it. You know, as you're cutting, you don't uh, want that finger coming in there. Can I cut the spines off mine, <laughs> Jackie? But you won't be cool. Though. I won't be cool. Okay. Oh, gotta gotta be cool. Like there's a. Gotta do it for the YouTube. There's an element there that's pretty much necessary. Ooh, ooh you almost got yourself. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> so you can just see the venom sack in there. So you can't eat that? Uh, you can eat the venom, it won't hurt you. Really? It's gotta be injected. Most venom uh, you can ingest. 
Really? Yeah. Is there, because there's, there's a difference, right, between venom and, and poison? Poison. Yeah. Poison comes from plants, and you don't want to ingest it because it will typically. Okay, snappers, do your thing. Do you ever get any with worms ever? No, I've never had a worm. They are a, a very healthy fish. I mean, yeah, look at they're down there eating. We have got uh, Jackie here. She's going to fillet her first line fish with the spines on. With the spines on. Now the mane, there's nothing in the mane. Yeah, you just come up there. Nice shot. Particularly runs ones on wrecks that have been shot at once or twice uh, and missed. Um, they have adapted. So you really got to cut in there and then. No, don't be. Well, I mean, you should be a little nervous. <laughs> Definitely cautious, right? I would be cautiously nervous. Like constantly reminding myself not to grab it spines. You, you, you won't. I mean, you might once, but then uh, you'll remember not to. Yeah. I'd rather just never ever try. So, uh, Jackie's never been stung. No, I have not. No. And um, she is... Um, behaving in a manner that will ensure that she doesn't ever get stung. Okay, so we cut the stomach open to see what he was eating. Because, you know, that's always fun. And look at this. We're not little, sure. Maybe some type of little rass thing, but... He's got a little tail. Yeah. Look at um, little tail. There's no telling. These things are voracious eaters. And now, uh, we're not finding a lot in their stomachs. Yeah, feed the mangroves, but we have opened them up and they, some of them are full of stuff. Gosh, look at how cute that little mini fillet is. Look at my finger. Just for like a size reference. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at this little tiny fillet. <laughs> so there's, um. This is my new personal best smallest fish I've ever eaten. Big or small, we use them all. Yeah, <laughs> little tiny fillet. This is the personal best, smallest fish. Unless I've eaten some. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna eat it. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. And his tail counts as a full lionfish tail point. Right? Yep. All right, so we're gonna finish up cleaning these lionfish here and we're gonna make the ceviche. We're gonna make lionfish ceviche, which I feel like everyone does with lionfish. But that's because it's so good. It's one of the but best Jack things. That's definitely right. Uh, that is the premier thing. To yeah, it's like super basic. Literally everyone does it. I'm sure you could probably find 3,000 YouTube videos of how to make lionfish ceviche. But we're going to do it on my channel because it's my channel. Yeah, you order the spines too? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Dude, no. Hunter plays too much with the spines. One day I'm going to get accidentally poked. It's going to be at Hunter's house. I have not been poked yet by a lionfish. I don't plan on it. I don't want to learn the hard way. I almost want to say that's my personal best lionfish, but it might not be. I did shoot some pretty big ones in St. Croix, so I'm going to have to go back and look at that video. We have avocado, limes for lime juice. I chopped up some jalapeno peppers, cilantro, red onion. We've got pico de gallo. You can make your own pico, of course, but we're kind of not lazy. that talented. Yeah, and lazy. <laughs> Hunter is dicing up the lionfish fillets and then uh, optional cucumber. What we're going to do... And this is the other nice thing about ceviche. It's so easy to make and it's healthy. Everything in this is very healthy, especially if you make your own pico. If you're not familiar with ceviche, it's a common... It's a Latin thing, right? Yeah, but it's originally came from Peru. 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 So, what does ceviche mean in Spanish? I don't know. Deliciousness. Oh, right. Yeah. So, to make the ceviche, it doesn't you don't have to have lionfish. You can have any other kind of fish. Or I'm pretty sure you can make ceviche shrimp. with shrimp. Yeah, other other things. So, um, your fish of choice, and then really basic ceviche always has cilantro, um, peppers, like jalapenos, lime juice. And the lime juice onion. cooks, that's what you use to cook. Right, so the meat. citrus has the acids in it that c actually cooks the meat. So we're putting it into the bowl raw, but it's not going to be raw once everything gets mixed together because 
you can sometimes even watch it happen. The lime juice will make cook the meat and make it turn white, which is really cool. We gotta get a few more limes in here. Yeah, we need some more um, juice. We might want more cilantro next and time. And stir vigorously. Oh, I don't mind adding more cilantro. I can cut some more right now. Cilantro is my favorite plant. So we haven't put in the fish yet. It's still cooking, but uh, Jackie's gonna test it just to see if the seasoning and everything looks and tastes good. First time. Jackie's nervous. She'll know about this. I am nervous. Okay, here goes. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. We don't have to do anything We don't have to do anything else? Mm -mm. No. You heard it. You heard it from Jackie. It's perfect. I cannot wait to add the fish. We're going to give the fish about 10 more minutes to cook. Second bite. Jackie's going in for the second bite. Second bite ever. <laughs> Jackie double dipped a chip. Oops. Oops. Double dipped the fork. It's okay. It's okay because we're about to put uh all that lime stuff in it which will kill all the germs that's what i'm talking yeah. about so yeah. let's see let's see the cooking now uh oh it's it's pretty much remember jackie was saying how it's going to turn white, white as it cooks yeah do you see that it was white meat but you can see where it's cooking so this is pretty much ready jackie would you like to do yeah. the honors yes uh, let here let's use a big spoon i need not to look at hunters hunters doing a lot of work in the kitchen so ready for the dump Nope, there's one piece one. left. It's Two pieces. It's little one. The little guy. It's the little guy. Okay. You want that piece too? Absolutely. <laughs> of course. Mix it all up. Okay. Mm -mm. So this is uh, Jackie's birthday dinner. Yes, the best birthday dinner. This is exactly what I wanted for my birthday dinner. Oh. Look at how beautiful and gorgeous that is. But you know, in all seriousness, um, we're doing this uh, celebrating Jackie's birthday, but also yes. the... Um, Two reasons. Uh, the You go to uh, WW Reef Rangers, and this is all about the lionfish challenge. Some of the things you can do, uh, making ceviche out of them. These fish are delicious. Uh, you get over being scared of them. They're not going to sting you if you handle them. You're not going to get envenomated if you handle them correctly. And uh, it is a great way. And, and really, you know, if you're kind of into the Florida thing and you're down here, uh, we talk about it a lot. Tomorrow we're going to pull the stone crab traps. We call it just living out of the ocean. Uh, there's a lot of good food that you can get, very sustainable. Uh, obviously, lionfish. Like if, um, you know, we've got a, a lot more restrictions on our hogfish down in Florida now, particularly in Monroe Which, County. May I, I'm going to add, I noticed a ton of hogfish today. Yeah, so it is working. We saw a ton of smaller hogfish. Uh, so I think that's a great thing. You know, we've, uh, we're have we not harvesting nearly as many hogfish. We're going to let them recover and get stock numbers way back up. But in the meantime, if you like that sort of stuff, the, the this meat is almost just exactly like a hogfish. And uh, you're not hurting anything. You're taking an invasive species out of our environment that it doesn't belong here and uh, you get delicious fillets out of it. We're multitasking by eating this fish. I feel like multitasking is exactly what we're doing. No. no. So, we're doing good deeds, and we're getting a delicious meal, and we're nourishing our body to be strong and healthy. And we've got first day Don't cookies. Don't show them the cookies, no! Oh. I didn't buy these. I didn't buy those. You didn't buy those. Someone else. I don't know nothing about no birthday cookies. <laughs> All right. Uh, YouTube, we will see you next time. Checking out with Jackie Shea, aka Jackie Slay. So, it. what's the cool ending you're supposed to do? Put your hand over the camera, like, uh. Oh, well, no, no, no. First, we gotta tell them to like. Oh. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share. Tell us about it's your, when we get this posted uh, and up, tell us about your line fish hunting experiences. Um, yeah. Let us know. Share. Yeah. Give us, give us some feedback. Tell us where you hunt what, them. What would you add to your ceviche? And please tell us what ceviche means in English. It means we, deliciousness. We think it means only ceviche. Well, I'm it, not going to with this, but like and subscribe and then all that great stuff. And then we'll see you guys in the next awesome video. Hoorah.
Here's Jackie. This is what's going to happen. You've probably seen Jackie, and I'll put a, a clip in there. She's held some of the coins up when we're out lobstering. But here's the coin. That's one from uh, 2020. And you can see here, I've got all three of them when they started, all four of them, uh, starting in 2019. And you get a cool t-shirt each time you submit the coin. And all you're going to do is you're going to get your bag of 25 tails. And you're going to put your, after you've registered, you're going to put your name, your location, where you, uh, you harvest them. And they're going to give you a, um, a number and you submit a verification form. You take it to a shop, you get it stamped off. They'll hold on to it. You keep the verification form, then you'll scan it or take a picture of it and send it in. There's instructions on the FWC Reef Rangers. And um, you get the coin and the shirt and an extra lobster on each day of mini season. Yeah, that sounds like a really good prize to me. And that's uh, Jackie's down here for that. She she wants her coin this year. Yeah, now I want the actual coin because these are really cool. 2020 and she's, is my favorite one. That 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 is a pretty cool one. And like Jackie's gonna flag, get the, or the dive dive flag in the dive Florida. flag in Florida and a really angry looking lionfish. Yeah, that's cool. Don't they have? Aren't they double sided too? They are double sided. If you flip it around. Oh, yeah, you can open it. Look this at, one's cool. I remember that one from last year. That that one's cool. That one is way cool. It's yeah. Be so the they're double-sided. They're kind of like challenge coins in the military. If you're familiar with that, yeah. um, those type things. Oh, look um, at that one. It's got a, like a chart in the background. Yeah. That's cool. <gasps> look at that one. So see, these are so cool. That's why I want one. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be coin collectors. I'm kind of jealous of Hunter's collection. Is throughout the years but you know been on this. don't be jelly just get involved yeah, um, yeah. you can all get out here and get your own uh, coin your uh, extra lobsters and your shirt uh, you may not get to go to mini season with Jackie Shea but you know at least you can in spirit yeah so after we do this uh, Jackie will be down for mini season and we are going to show that I think it'll be our 10th mini season and she's gonna show her coin for this year uh, go out there and kill some lionfish the lionfish challenge down here in Florida. So do that thing where you close out the video, Jackie. How do we do it? 